fans of Desperate Housewives, stay tuned. In this very special episode of Close Up, we've got the real stories behind those sexy ladies of Wisteria Lane. We'll tell you all about Terry Hatcher's days as a mermaid and Bond girl, why Marsha Cross is cross with Barbara Walters, and which housewife is both young and restless. We'll also give you an inside look at what's coming up this season and who's moving into the neighborhood. You've also got the scoop on who these ladies have been playing house with off camera. Don't miss our exclusive coverage. It's all coming up next on TV Guide Close Up. Hi, I'm James Denton, and this is TV Guide Close Up. Welcome to Close Up Special on the Ladies of Wisteria Lane. I'm your host, Madison Michelle, coming at you from the Hollywood set of Desperate Housewives. Since its debut on ABC in the fall of 2004, this quirky dramedy has raked in awards, captivated fans, and made household names of its leading ladies. But just just how much do you really know about the stars of Desperate Housewives? We've got interviews with all the women you won't see anywhere else. And we've got the scoop on the latest residents to settle into the neighborhood. You think this is them? Joining the cast this season is China Beach alum Dana Delaney in a role that's sure to knock the ladies for a loop. I play Catherine Mayfair, who lived on Wisteria Lane 12 years ago and is back with her daughter and her new husband. Playing her husband is former Firefly star Nathan Fillion. My character is, um, uh, number one, he's, 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 he's really good looking, very charming and smart, smart like crazy. Um, but he's a man with secrets. He's a doctor. He's a gynecologist. Um, you know, if someone were to ask you what kind of doctor would you like to be in Desperate Housewives, I think gynecologist would be the first, the first answer. Naturally, this couple has some very big secrets. I know that um, we left Chicago under mysterious circumstances and returned to Wisteria Lane. And strangely, the daughter that I've come back with is, seems very different than the daughter that I left with. This is not little Dylan. <laughs> I'm Susan, Julie's mom. She is going to be so excited to see you. Great. Who's Julie again? Honey, you remember your best friend when you were little? Oh, right. I can't really say why I don't remember anything, but I will guarantee you that it's awesome. <laughs> Although Dana was a welcome addition to the cast... I've never seen anyone so effortlessly just slip into you know, the, into the show. Her character won't be fitting in as easily with these housewives. It's interesting because she comes on and Susan says she's fantastic. You're all gonna love her. Oh, she's great. This is Catherine. And we all meet her and Catherine has some sharp edges. Your garden is absolutely breathtaking. And that pine tree in the backyard? It's my pride and joy. Oh, it absolutely kills me to have to ask you to cut it down. Excuse me? She's the sort of perfect wasp, which is very threatening to breed. We exchange some words that aren't very pretty, and so you get to see the Latin spitfire come out in me. Also joining the series this year is Tuck Watkins and Kevin Rom as Wisteria Lane's first gay neighbors. We do have a secret. Our secret is, is not that we're gay, by the way. We say that immediately. I cannot tell you what our secret is, but I can tell you that the secret that we're aware of is deep in Dana Delaney and Nathan Fillion's past. So we got the dirt on them, and they got the dirt on us. I think they introduced a gay couple because it reflects a trend going on in suburbia right now. A lot of gay couples are leaving the city and moving to more suburban or rural areas. I think it's good that they brought us on uh, as a gay couple on Wisteria Lane to show the entire country that there are couples like Bob and Lee who probably live among them out there in the red states. Is it time for a gay character on Wisteria Lane? I think so, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think every neighborhood needs a gay couple. It, it just brings property value up. Well, we, we moved there and we assumed that everyone's going to, to like everything that we do and it, it turns out people don't like so much what we do. Which is shocking because what we're doing is, is fabulous. Yeah. But when we tried to find out a little more about what it is they do, the pair suddenly clammed up. 
I don't know. What do you got? Divulging. Divulging. I say you get in trouble, not me. <laughs> I, I, I will keep my mouth There's shut. There's not going to be a lot of divulging coming from either yeah, one of us. Like I said, we're the new kids on the block. We don't want to get in trouble yet. It's our first day at school. <laughs> well, if the new guys won't spill, maybe an old friend will share some secrets. Somebody dies, I'll give you that. I don't think Mark's given that to anybody, but I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, I know it's not a shock, but in the first nine, we uh, we lose a major character. Jesus, Tell you, we have I hope it's you. not me. <laughs> I think last season saw a real reinvention of the show, really bringing it back.